Yeah, I can feel it in my chest. Well, you probably remember that natural gas explosion that ripped through northwest Portland, destroying buildings, even leaving several people hurt. And now, two years later, the company found responsible for the devastation is facing a stack of lawsuits. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman joins us live in studio now with a look at these claims. Bonnie? Well, guys, a total of nine lawsuits are seeking more than $13 million from the company responsible for these blasts. Now, these lawsuits representing people who say they crawled out of buildings with glass in their backs, people thrown to the ground by the pure force of the explosion. Most of these lawsuits were filed just weeks ago because after two years, the statute of limitations is now expired. October 19th, 2016. It's a day Portland will never forget. I can feel it in my chest. A massive explosion leaving the heart of Northwest Portland unrecognizable, all because a one inch natural gas line was ruptured by workers digging on the wrong side of the street. It's damn near a miracle that nobody was killed. Now, more than two years later, survivors, once in this rubble, some crawling out of buildings after being showered with glass, are suing Loy Clark Pipeline, the company found responsible. Nine lawsuits in total are seeking more than $13 million. The suits representing insurance companies, business owners, a hairdresser, a natural gas investigator, along with a dental hygienist and her patient. Along with economic damages, many of the lawsuits state the plaintiffs suffered brain damage, PTSD, hearing loss, concussions, headaches, cuts and bruises, some stating they have permanent damage. Boy, an apology, a heartfelt apology would certainly... I don't know if it would go a long way, but it would be something. This is Jason Kundell, and this is what remained of his beloved tattoo shop. His name is now on one of those nine lawsuits filed just weeks ago. We spoke with him one year after the blast as he continued to recover. It's like a lot of the emotions have kind of come up in the last like six months or something. So it's, it's I imagine most of it has passed and I imagine at some point it will be pretty closed, but it's, it's still a little fresh, I guess. It's, the wound still feels a little sore. And tonight I did reach out to many of the people named in those nine lawsuits. No one wanted to comment. A spokesperson with the Loy Clark Pipeline says the company did settle nearly 90% of the claims resulting from the blast. We'll, of course, keep a close eye on these lawsuits and let you know what happens next. Reporting in live in studio, Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12 Oregon.